Yeah. Oh, this, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. the X-ray, it's going to be tough. We're going to have to osteotomize it. Darren Newfield yeah. has his talented hands full this day. Yeah. He and friend Dr. Eric Fury are performing an operation they've never done before. See that fluid? That, that oh, clear yeah. fluid? So that's, yeah. that means we're in the knee joint. Yeah. But unmapped territory is nothing new for Newfield. It's like the first pin. Two years ago, he improvised a surgical technique which spurred growth in the diseased leg of a Romanian girl. Today, Newfield and Fury use that same technique with one major difference. This patient is a dog. About two weeks ago, Darren Newfield was in his apartment near the Atlanta Waterworks when neighbors found a puppy in the nearby woods with its left hind leg in a splint. So they brought it to Newfield. He's an orthopedic surgeon, right? He should know what to do. All he knew what to do was to put up signs and hope that someone would claim the lost dog. After a week, nobody claimed it, and I was taking care of him for the week and gradually starting getting more and more attached to him. Newfield took the dog, a Pomeranian puppy he named Tripod, to his office for x-rays. Tripod's left femur had been broken and had started to heal all wrong. He contacted a nearby vet. And the vet called back an hour later and said, I can't see the dog because I don't do orthopedics. And I said, well, I don't need somebody that does orthopedics. I need somebody that does dog. When vet Monica Daniel heard Newfield's story, she knew she just had to help. I would be more than willing to uh, have him use my facility, and I would be right there with him, uh, you know, putting the dog under anesthesia, monitoring the dog. Something is going on here. Dr. Daniel will anesthetize Tripod for free so that his new owner, who just happens to be an orthopedic surgeon, can mend his leg. A medical equipment company just happens to hear about Tripod and donates the hardware for the operation. And friend Eric Fury agrees to help. We're trying to, we're trying to refracture it yeah. through the same site that it was fractured, and so then we can rotate it like... Newfield and Fury refracture Tripod's leg, reposition the bone, and pin it into place to heal. There is more going on here than the mending of Tripod's leg. I always wanted a big dog, a lab or a golden retriever or something large, you know, a manly dog. This is a little bit of a frou-frou dog for a, for a single male. Uh, I'm one of the only people put down probably that drives a Hummer and has a Pomeranian. Monica Daniel has been a vet for a long time. She's never seen anything like this before. It was meant to be. This little puppy was meant to find Darren, who was meant to find me, and then, you know, the rest is history, I guess you could say. Post-op x-rays show the surgery went beautifully. When he heals, Tripod should be able to walk normally. Sometimes things just seem to fall into place. It looks like this unlikely pairing is going to work out just fine. I'm health editor Mark Picard, 11 Alive News. Coming forward, new information tonight about two people. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. in the x-ray, it's going to be tough. We're going to have to osteotomize it. What are the odds that a dog dumped on the side of the road with a broken left hind leg would be found, taken to a nearby resident who happens to be an orthopedic surgeon? You can feel normal femur up here. That the surgeon would decide to operate on the dog's leg, have a doctor friend offer to assist, have a veterinarian volunteer her services, have a medical equipment company donate the hardware? This is the x fix I think, is the best one. This one. Fate and the kindness of strangers saved this dog's life and started an unlikely bond between Hummer-driving, big dog-liking Darren Newfield and this frou-frou little fuzzball he named Tripod. Okay, okay, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good when it comes off. Two months after Newfield had to re-break Tripod's leg and pin the bones into place, the x-rays look good. You can see that the fracture site is almost completely filled in with new bone. Though the fracture is not fully healed, the bone is stable enough to no longer need the brace and pins. Newfield removes them. Tripod is both hurting and frightened. This is as tough on Newfield's x-ray technician, Kathy Erickson, as it is on Tripod. It kills me. Finally, the brace and the pins come out, and this ordeal is over. Junior and I need a drink. <laughs> Newfield is used to dealing with pain, but not pain he causes his friend. Hey, you okay with me? All right? You okay? You mad at me? Tripod forgives Darren in an instant. The question is, will he be able to use his leg? With this type of injury, a lot of times uh, dogs won't recover. They actually have a lot of atrophy to the point where they won't start using the leg. 
What are the odds that next door to Dr. Newfield's office, physical therapist Jerry Cable is anxious to get into the new field of canine rehabilitation? She came over and told me that she hadn't had a dog to do the therapy on. And I, was, I said, well, here's your perfect chance to, to try it out. Cable devises play exercises for Tripod, which force him to work his hind legs. Newfield will use these exercises at home with Tripod. Good boy. Who's healing whom? Uh, well, a lot of my friends say that, uh, that he's changed me, that I've kind of softened up a little bit. Uh, uh, but uh, I don't think, I don't know. Uh, that's what they say. Come here. Tripod's left hind leg will soon be 100%. Uh, I don't think I was a dog person before, especially a little dog person. But now I'm very happy that uh, my neighbors found him and, uh, and they found me. What are the odds that a little dog dumped on the side of the road would find someone to fix his leg? And at the same time, a hard-charging doctor would find something to touch his heart. Good boy. I guess pretty good.